Brought to you by Rebel Twins. In a 2D platform. One man. Many factories. And many, many, many cookies that must die. Oh yeah. Cookies Must Die is a winner of the 2020 Google Indie Game Fest. It is available on the Google Play Store app and the uh, Apple App Store. There are many funky monsters uh, that are cookies, milkshakes, and a whole bunch of other things. And amazing graphics, good music, fast-paced action. You play Jack, this guy, who has been genetically enhanced in order to crumble as many cookies as possible and spilling milk. On this mission, you will find gadgets that will help you throughout your journey as long as weapons. You can also eventually change your character into different types of uh, characters. I don't really know if they have, they have different power stats and health stats. Your character, you can swipe him across and catapult him into the cookies to crumble them or the milkshakes to spill them. Whatever enemy is in your way uh, is a threat to you. If you hold on to it, you can actually slow down time, as you see there, and like aim and take the time to look around at your surroundings because you can hold grapple onto like buildings, signs, rooftops, lamps, and this is a boss. This game might look easy. Okay, it, it, but there are a lot of things on the screen flying at you at any moment and at any given time. There are sometimes things that you might not want to grapple to that you do grapple to by mistake and that might cost you your life. So you always have to be very attentive about of your surroundings and everything that goes on around you. As you can see here, I'm about to die on the first boss. There. That's me dead. Over here. That's me dead again. And over here, dead again. Yeah, so this game is pretty challenging. And well, there's one more time right there, not even by the boss. Yeah, pretty hard game, pretty challenging. If you don't wanna spend the extra money on this game and you know, you're satisfied with watching ads and uh, just having a challenge, there is a total possibility that I'm, 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 I imagine that uh, you know, getting the upgrades, uh, you know, getting some more gems will really help you in advancing. But uh, the fun is really in the trying to get all of those enemies and, and getting the gadgets and really feeling the challenge. At times, it just feels so hopeless, but it's amazing how good you get at a game like this. You know, it makes me think of a, of a shmup where like, you know, there's so many things going on. It just seems impossible, but you know, you get good at it, and then suddenly, like, yeah, it just it just seems it just comes naturally, right? Like, you know where the bullets are coming from. You know where all the enemies, like, what they do, and all of that. Uh, this game is really, really well done for uh, a mobile game. I mean, like, the music is great, and and everything is just feels so like uh, the controls are are really fluent and like easy to like navigate and, and I mean sometimes it is a little difficult because like you grab uh, you grab onto things that maybe you didn't want to grab onto like I said earlier but it's it's just part of the fun and, and like part of the coolness of it because as much as that sort of hurts you sometimes a lot of times it'll actually help you these are one of the factory levels where you have to destroy the factory by hacking that machine that we just seen up on the middle floor they're infested with cookies and different types of monsters and enemies and this thing which is i don't even know what that is but that uh, i don't know it's a candy or something anyways if you know what that is you could write that down in the comments or tell me what you think it is anyways and, and you blow up these factories and there's uh, there's a couple of factories 
I've noticed. I think I've gone through two of them so far. I've been in, uh, these are intense battles too. I mean, like, I got super lucky here. As you can see, like, every respawn, the boss spawns at a different spot. So, you know, you can get lucky. And here, I got him on the rooftop. So, I was alone with him. And uh, it made things a lot, a lot easier to just, you know, get the job done without having, like, to worry about any other creatures around me so there's a little bit of that that comes into play too and that can also help you you know pass the levels so th the difficulty is really satisfying in my opinion it's nothing it doesn't get you frustrated it's a challenge you know what i mean like it's not something where you're like oh i was expecting to do this or that and it didn't do that you know that you messed up you know like you got the slow motion you there's nothing to it's not frustrating when you play it it's just fun it's 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 just let loose and you just go and you swipe away and i still didn't manage to make even if even though the boss was on the roof there i still didn't make it as you progress further and further into the game you will notice that like the level designs are different this is a train level uh, i guess there's chapters so within the chapters uh the levels are the same but each chapter pretty is a little bit different actually i think the first three chapters were the same uh, or first four and then once you get into the fifth one and the sixth one are completely different and it's really always just a pleasure just that the visuals are so great and there's so many moving things and so many things to look at it's I think that's really what makes this game hard is that it's so nice to look at and but you got to act so fast that you don't have time to do everything you know you want to look at the it's such a beautiful game like you're playing it you're looking at all the details and, and then you end up getting like hit by a, a laser beam that came out of a cookie you know what i mean <sighs> crazy times so i want to take a moment to say that i'm not sponsored by um, rebel twins or anybody who's associated with this video game i just really enjoyed this video game and i found that uh this I, I just wanted to make a review on this game i feel this game is really great uh it's fun it's uh, addictive it's something that you can just pick up play and like you know at, you, whatever whenever you feel like it you know if you're waiting at a line if you're on a bus ride or you know well i'm not gonna say <laughs> well you're stuck in traffic but i mean they'll do that no don't don't you dare do that but i mean like you, you get what i mean like you practically play this thing you pick it up for like two minutes and just drop it you know it's it, the, the levels aren't too long usually they're you know take you about like uh, anywhere between uh five to eight minutes or something like that a level so uh this game is really great i really enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you download the game i'll leave the links in the description below uh you know hey leave me a like you know leave me a dislike if you didn't like the game leave me a like if you did uh if you'd like the video if you didn't like the video i don't know leave me a comment tell me what you think about the game have you tried it did, did you not try it uh did you like it didn't you like it and subscribe please you know but seriously go check out this game i really enjoyed it and i think that a lot of people are going to like it i think it just got released on um the apple app store so you know for those of you who have uh you know who are part, part of the uh, apple club or whatever uh, you know get this game yeah thank you uh bye, -bye. i didn't do the love you but bye, -bye.